I want to be honest with you guys. The real reason why we're leaving Canada is because... It's 7 a.m., sun's already rising, and I've already got my workout in. Trying to eat healthier, you know, compensating for all those Red Bulls. Don't judge me, we ran out of bulls, so I'm using a mug. It'll suffice. Ah, off with these masks. So tired of wearing masks. It's ironic because I've actually never been an early morning person, but when my wife and I moved here to Toronto, we came here in the middle of a crazy lockdown, meaning nothing was open in the evenings anyway, so we'd go to bed really early and wake up really early for the nice sunrise walks and all that stuff. And now it's just stuck. So instead of going to the gym in the evening and having even less time with my wife, I just decided to go very early morning at 6 a.m. before the sun rises and get a nice one hour workout. It's pretty good, you should try it out. Highly recommend it. I'm trapped. I gotta get around somehow. Luckily we have another driveway we can get out. Vlogging and driving around a car, do not recommend. Luckily we're not going at top speeds right now, so uh, you know, we can do this. <gasps> ah, this way, much better. And look at these views. These are views I'm never get tired of. So many of you might not know, but I live downtown and my brother's office is north. So I've got about a 45 minute, one hour commute every day. And I'm such an extrovert that I love just calling people on my rides. Let's call my good friend, Peter. Come on, Peter. Terve, moro. Get my lunch. <laughs> oh man, Peter is such an awesome guy. He's the kind of friend that everyone should have. And this is one thing you never get used to the stairs. I'm so thirsty. Drinking healthier stuff right now. Vitamin well. much better. So since I posted my last video where I told everyone that we're gonna be leaving Canada, there have been speculations in the air. People have been asking me, did you and your brother get in a fight? Is that the reason why you're leaving? And the truth is, no, we are not in a fight whatsoever. We are on good terms, better terms than ever, in my opinion, not that we've ever been in bad terms but definitely everything is good with my brother. There is absolutely no beef between us and everything is going as planned. You see, when my brother reached out to me a year ago to come and move to Canada, work with him on his channel, the terms of our agreement was that I would come for one year. And one year because, well, there's a lot of factors that come into play. A, my wife is from Finland, so her family and all of her life is in Finland, meaning she can't work here in Canada. So for her to move to Canada and be with me here is like putting her life on pause. She's really the most supportive wife ever. So that's one thing. The second thing is, is that we have our life in Finland. We have a house there. We have our friends. We have our community, family, uh, Vera's job. Everything is in Finland. So in some ways, it's strange that Canada is where I was born and I've lived half my life here, but I've made my new adult life in Finland. So it's strange. Canada is my home, my birth country, but Finland is home now. And even during this whole year, everything has kind of just solidified even more. And I just realized that, yeah, Canada is a great place. My family is here, but Finland is home. It's where I want to be. So yeah, all along the plan had been that we'd move here in January, spend the year here in Canada, and then we'd go back to Finland. Looking back, it's crazy to see how fast this year has gone by. And it's kind of funny thinking about the time when we made this decision to come here because I remember my wife and I, we were thinking about this decision so much. We are putting so much pressure on ourselves. Is this the right decision or not the right decision? And in the end, now a year later, it's like, 
Oh man, I mean, it is a big decision to move across the world to another country, but at the same time, it isn't. Because I've realized that it's much better to go for something and you can always change your mind and go back rather than living in this kind of limbo where you just never go for anything because you're always scared or unsure and you live in this what if land. You know, I don't want to live in that space where I think to myself, what if? What if I would have gone for that? Or what if I would have done that? Or what if I would have pursued that? What would have happened? I would much rather just go for it. And even if it isn't what I thought it was going to be, just learn from it pivot into a new thing or just go back to what you like better. So for me, this has been a huge learning year when it comes to making decisions. Instead of thinking too much, which I'm prone to doing, I just want to go for it. I don't want to be the person who lives with the what ifs. I just want to be the person that goes for it and has no regrets in life because, hey, at least I tried. At least I went for it and pursued it. So yeah, Take away this encouragement. Don't live a life with regret. Just go for it. And uh, hopefully this cleared up some of the air and some of the speculations. There is absolutely no beef between my brother and I. All is well. Okay, I think I need to do some cleaning because uh, this office is a mess. I think my brother would appreciate it very much. Mm -hmm.